for the Raw Women's Championship. It is time for our fourth championship match here this evening at SummerSlam. And it is the WWE Women's Championship of the World on the line. The number one contender, Shotzi, the fiery, in-your-face woman who earned this opportunity a number of weeks ago on main event where she survived a four-way elimination contest against Ember Moon, Casey Catanzaro, and Shayna Baszler to earn this contest. And there's a whole lot of writing on this match for Shotzi. Back on March 21st, on Monday Night Raw, Shotzi met Bianca Belair in the ring for the first time. In an absolutely extraordinary effort, Shotzi came up short against Bianca Belair. The two met in a rematch on main event on March 29th, where if Shotzi won the match, she would earn a future women's championship opportunity. Unfortunately for her, she yet again came up short against Bianca Belair in yet another great fight by Shotzi. We have seen Shotzi grow ever since those performances against the EST of the WWE. Shotzi has gotten better and better each and every time she steps in the ring. Recent victories over Io Shirai, as well as Mrs. Money in the Bank, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, this past Monday night on Raw. If Shotzi has ever been more ready for this contest, I believe that she possibly can get the job done here tonight. This is a woman who we believe has all the tools to be one of the future pieces of the WWE Women's Division. She knows Bianca Belair. I'm sure she has studied her previous contest with the EST as well. This is a long-awaited rematch for Shotzi. The third contest between these women, this time for all the marbles with the WWE Women's Championship on the line. And here comes the EST of the WWE, your WWE Women's Champion of the World, Bianca Belair. Belair has been dominant as the champion in recent months. She retained the title over Sasha Banks at Backlash. We saw Bianca Belair retain the title yet again against Rhea Ripley, the Nightmare at Money in the Bank. She then again defeated the Nightmare on Monday Night Raw in a no-holds-barred contest. Bianca Belair, one of the most dominant women, I would say possibly in WWE history. And it's been an incredible reign for her as the champion. She looks the part. She is the part. She is a superstar, and she is a worthy of being a champion here in the WWE. She knows Shotzi, she's beaten her in the past. Can she get the job done in their third meeting? June 26, SummerSlam, right here, right now. The title's on the line. Let's send things down to the ring. Introducing the challenger from Oakland, California. And introducing the champion from Knoxville, Tennessee, the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair! And here we go with your co-main event here tonight at SummerSlam. Your fourth of five championship matches here this evening. This one for the biggest prize for the women today, the WWE Women's Championship of the World. Current champion Bianca Belair puts up the belt against number one contender, that woman Shotzi. Who is going to leave Phoenix, Arizona with the title? We're going to find out right here, right now, as the bell is underway, and this match is sounded. Shotzi knee into the cover. Shotzi trying to get the quick advantage over Bianca Belair. Smart strategy by Shotzi there, trying to take Belair off her game. Snap suplex. And Shotzi going to the cover again on the champion, trying to beat the champion quick here. Interesting strategy from Shotzi again. She's come a long way since those losses against Bianca Belair back in March. She's gained some very gutsy performance victories over Io Shirai. And again, this past Monday night on Raw, where she defeated Mrs. Money in the Bank, Asuka. Shotzi has grown a lot. She's learned a lot inside of the ring. This is absolutely her biggest match in her career thus far. This time with the title on the line against Bianca Belair. As Belair is now taking the fight to Shotzi after Shotzi took the fight to Belair right off the bell with that running knee. And Belair absolutely, as we've talked about a lot about her in the past, knows how to get it done inside the ring. Multiple ways she can beat you. 
As she looks like she could be heading for one of those signature maneuvers that we've seen her beat Shotzi in the past with before. That move, that elbow drop, has kept Shotzi down in the past. But Shotzi gets the shoulder up early on in the contest, but also got to give credit to Shotzi for recognizing the maneuver and possibly being able to withstand the blow a little more. This has already been an incredible contest between these two about a minute into this thing as these women are going at it as they know the biggest prize in the business for the WWE Women's Championship is on the line here. And Belair going to use her strengths over Shotzi here, literally picking Shotzi off the mat and slams her out of the canvas. Oh, wait a minute, look at this, the EST. Looking to make it a dose, slams Shotzi down yet again. Belair's strength absolutely going to be her strength and size in this contest as she's going for a three-peat on Shotzi, making a hat trick into the cover. And Belair almost putting Shotzi away there. Shotzi getting the shoulder off of the three power slams from the EST. Goes for the backdrop. Shotzi lands on her feet nice and seguri. Shotzi, I'm sure, as we've mentioned, has studied those matches against the women's champion and has learned her arsenal inside and out. Which I'd say favors the challenger here tonight. Blair is the champion for a reason, as we were talking about a few minutes ago. She has multiple ways she can beat you in the ring, and she has proven that each and every time she steps foot inside the squared circle. As that elbow drop that she hit on Shotzi a few moments ago has put Shotzi away in a previous meeting between the two. Blair goes for the cover on the number one contender. Going to retain the championship as Shotzi gets the shoulder up. We're seeing a lot of close covers in the early minutes of this matchup here. Both women coming with strategy here tonight as Shotzi hits the double knees. Now she's into the cover, looking to become the new champion. But Belair gets the shoulder up. We talked about the matches that Bianca Belair has been through recently in her title reign. Sasha Banks should beat her in about five minutes back at Backlash. Unintentionally breaking the ribs of Sasha. We haven't seen her since, and Shotzi may have just broken the ribs of Bianca Belair. Senton from the apron to the floor, crushing Belair's ribs between Shotzi and the floor here at the Footprint Center. Belair's down and out. Shotzi's got her in her predicament as she's headed to the top rope. Could be on her up for that coffin drop, but Belair gets up and Shotzi elects for the axe hammer instead. Still effective as she goes for the cover here. But Belair gets the canvas, or excuse me, the shoulder off the canvas. Shotzi is bringing the fight to the WWE Women's Champion like we've never seen her before. I think that's credit to how much Shotzi has grown over the last couple of months. She has survived some very tough matchups. Shotzi drops the elbow on Belair. She's been all over the WWE Women's Champion. She's clearly coming with a strategy here tonight. Not that Belair isn't, not that she hasn't been putting in the offense, but you gotta give credit to the challenger here as she is really bringing the fight to the champion. Goes for the splash. Bianca Belair has it scouted though. Gets out of the way there. Shotzi's dazed and Belair hits her with a drop kick. And Belair follows it up with the shooting star press. One of the maneuvers we've seen Belair get the win with in the past. But Shotzi gets the shoulder up. A lot of close covers in this match the last number of minutes. Belair's headed up to the top. Shotzi right there to meet her though. Look at this. Fall away. Slam. Belair takes the fall. Back and forth, the seesaw of momentum goes in this contest. What a night it has been here at SummerSlam. Our eighth of nine contests here this evening. Your co-main event for the Women's Championship. And these two women absolutely tearing down the footprint center right now. As Shotzi going for the tilt-a-whirl. Head scissors takes Bianca Belair for an amusement park ride off her feet. Blair's down, Shotzi drops that senton right, right again, excuse me. One of her signature maneuvers as she's now headed to the top rope, could be looking for the senton, elects for the splash instead. And Blair could be down, Shotzi, yeah, going for the cover yet again. So we have a new women's champion, but Bianca Blair again digging down deep, and able to find the strength to kick out of that maneuver right there. Blair grabbing the hold of Shotzi. And look at this, once again, going to use her strength over the number one contender. Slams her down to the mat. And Shotzi's taking a lot of those falls in this matchup. The pain is going to catch up to her. However, Belair's headed to the top. 
450 splash, and because of Shotzi's positioning, she eats the splash to the lower back. And that is not gonna go well for Shotzi. And she's going for the cover here, and the number one contender about to lose her opportunity, but she gets the shoulder up at the last second. Shotzi living to fight another chance here in this matchup. But Shotzi has really got to be feeling the lower back pain after all the attack for the WWE Women's Champion thus far. Goes for the crossbody. Shotzi counters it. Slams Belair down to the mat. Bianca Belair grabbing a hold. Wait a minute here. Nice snap suplex. Shotzi again taking a fall on that lower back. And look at this, I think Bianca Belair smells blood in the water. Using her strength again, brings Shotzi down. Power slam just elects for one and goes for the cover here. Thought that was going to be enough to put the number one contender away, but Shotzi is really digging down deep in this contest as she's still alive. As she shows her right there, getting out of the way of that moonsault. The number one contender takes the champion down. Nothing pretty about that axe hammer maneuver, but definitely effective in the long run of this contest. Shotzi sending the champion into the corner. Belair evading the assault. Goes for the counter. Shotzi counters. Send, sends Belair into the corner. Now up to the top rope. Clearly number one contender's got something in mind. And she just sends Bianca Belair on a ride to the outside of the ring. And wait a minute here. Shotzi's headed to the top. Hits the splash from the top rope to the outside of the ring. That's twice now in this contest that Belair has been pinned between her opponent and the floor here in the arena. I think those two maneuvers might equal out to all the attack that Shotzi has felt. Falling on her lower back in this ring. Momentum is in the corner of Shotzi right now as the women's champions' eggs are scrambled at the moment. A nice Shotzi. The forearm by Shotzi. Belair counters that one there. Had it scattered after multiple maneuvers. And Belair, nice power slam once again, using her strength to her advantage. Now look at this. has got Shotzi up. Swings her around. And Shotzi eats a neck breaker to the back of the knee. Belair goes right into the cover, smelling blood in the water on the weakened opponent. But Shotzi is still in there. And Belair's got to keep her eye on the ball. And she might have just got knocked out off that Insiguri. Blair's days, Shotzi, nothing pretty there. Oh, wait a minute, arm breaker. She's gonna elect for a submission hold at the current moment. It's got Blair in a predicament. Blair's down, Shotzi once again goes for that senton. A move that has aided her in victory the last number of weeks and her build up to SummerSlam. And that match versus Io Shirai and that number one contender's four away in the match against Asuka this past Monday Night on Raw. As Shotzi, look at that, catches Bianca Belair with the double knees. Belair's down, goes for the senton, but Belair gets out of the way. Belair grabbing a hold, but now Shotzi's still with fight reversals. As once again, the momentum is shifting back and forth between champion and challenger. And Shotzi's just trying to go for the TKO there on Belair. And look at that! Speaking of which, once again, hits that knee and hits the senton. Shotzi's stringing together a couple of maneuvers. She's headed to the top rope, Belair's down, Shotzi, coffin drop on the women's champion. Goes into the cover against the number one contender. We have a new WWE Women's Champion. Shotzi defeats Bianca Bo Oh my God. Not now. Mrs. Money in the Bank. The Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka is in the house. Shotzi literally seconds ago just beat Bianca Belair for the Women's Championship, but Asuka has arrived. We got a ring of the bell. And ladies and gentlemen, we got another WWE Women's Championship match here this evening. Shotzi, double knees to Asuka. It's happening so fast, I can't even call the damn action. My God, ladies and gentlemen, Shotzi just defeated Bianca Belair for the Women's Championship. She is the rightful owner to the Women's Championship of the WWE. Before she can get the title in her grasp, though, she's trying to defeat Asuka here into the cover of this champion. Asuka gets the shoulder up before Shotzi can even get the title in her hands. Literally seconds after the bell rang, Asuka is in the house. 
And right here, right now, she is cashing in Money in the Bank versus a weakened Shotzi after that physical match against Bianca Belair. I can't say I blame Asuka. I don't like it. But at the end of the day, that's what the Money in the Bank's all about. And Shotzi is worse for wear right now, but she's trying to hang in here against the Empress of Tomorrow. Goes for the senton and hits it. Hits it again. Shotzi is trying to just run off adrenaline at the moment. Went to the well too many times there, and she ate the canvas. I cannot believe I'm calling a second women's championship match here at the moment. That's Asuka with the German suplex on Shotzi. Shotzi obviously not prepared at the current moment for Mrs. Money in the Bank. I'm sure she didn't have her eyes, or have her mind, I should say, on the fact that this could be a possibility here tonight as Asuka drops the elbow. And Asuka into the cover. Is she about to win the women's championship here? But Shotzi living the fight in this contest. Shotzi had so much momentum and so much build up towards her match with Bianca Belair that again, I'm sure she didn't even have her mind on the fact that this was a possibility here tonight. Asuka, who's been holding the Money in the Bank briefcase since May the 2nd when she took down the contract in Philadelphia, is cashing in right here, right now, June 22nd, or June 26th, excuse me, here tonight in Phoenix. And Shotzi is just worse for wear at the moment. She just got done that contest with Bianca Belair, and I can't believe it, just seconds after the bell, Asuka is here to cash in Money in the Bank. It's gonna be our second cash in tonight as Edge is getting ready to cash in his Money in the Bank in our main event versus AJ Styles. And Asuka clearly knowing that she's gotta do some damage on Satsi. She's running off adrenaline a little bit in the first few moments of this matchup here. But Asuka beating down your current WWE Women's Champion. Shotzi's still in this, no. And if Shotzi's got a chance in hell at winning right now, it's going to be running off the adrenaline of the matchup she just participated in. However, Asuka hits the rope. Shotzi's dazed, and she may be knocked out for good off that hip attack. Asuka's not satisfied yet. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Asuka. Asuka lock locked in on the WWE Women's Champion. And Shotzi's got no choice but to tap out. And just like that, we have yet a new WWE Women's Champion of the World. After that hellacious back and forth exciting matchup between Bianca Belair and Shotzi. Shotzi wins, doesn't even get a chance to hold the title in her hands. Asuka cashes in money in the bank. And we have our second new Women's Champion of the WWE here tonight. I cannot believe the events that just transpired here in Phoenix. Eventful night to say the least. Here at Here's SummerSlam. I can't say I like it, but at the end of the day, that is what the Money in the Bank is all about. A title opportunity at any given time, at any point, up for up to one year. And Asuka took advantage of that stipulation wholeheartedly here tonight. And I'm sure it didn't matter who walked out between Belair and Shotzi. Asuka had a premeditated plan and she capitalized to the fullest. And she is leaving Phoenix, the new WWE Women's Champion. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.